Welcome back guys to another video. This is Hackam Figures and this is going to be a review on a toy that I just came back from hunting down this morning. I'm talking about from NECA, the ultimate McGreedy action figure. So let's fucking go. So the wait's finally over guys. He's here and you had to hunt this motherfucker down at Target's. Now NECA came out and released a statement saying that these were gonna be released on Father's Day. Yesterday on Instagram, a lot of people were posting that they were finding them at their Target. I went to Target, didn't find anything. I went this morning and sure enough, I found this bad boy. You know, who would have thought NECA would have made the thing or anything from the thing. I know that uh, Soda Toys came out with their version of McGreedy, and uh, that's over like 10, 15 years old, but now we have an Ultimate from NECA, and I'm not the biggest Ultimate fan, and I'm hoping that they will make this guy in the retro style, which I think might come down the line. I'm happy that we got this, and even if we don't get a retro one, I'm so happy that we have this, because it's McGreedy, and it's the thing, one of my favorite fucking films of all time, John Carpenter's masterpiece, The Thing, you gotta be fucking kidding. Let's check out the box, you guys. As you can see there, it's kind of shiny. So the cool thing about this box, you guys, it's like, it's a matte finish, but it's also really shiny. And it's hard because you can't really pick, the camera's not really picking up the detail of this box, but it's pretty bad, badass. Um, but you can see, you can see that it's a reflection. So it's it's shiny, but like, it's, it's a matte finish. So it's, it's kind of weird to explain here. So let's check out the box, you guys. The very front, you guys, you have the classic movie cover, the ultimate in alien terror. You have the fucking image there that says the thing, ultimate McGreedy outpost 31. So I'm I'm thinking we're gonna get more of these guys, not just this, because they print in parentheses it says the outpost 31. So if they weren't gonna make more, I don't think they would have put that. But that's just me guessing. I don't know. What the fuck do I know? So that's the front, you guys. So let's look at the side here. And both sides are the same. So I'm just gonna show one side here. You see the chopper flying there on the very top there. And the, it's kind of hard for the camera to pick up. And again, it says the thing, Ultimate McGreedy, uh, Outpost 31, NECA, Real Toys in the background, Antarctica in the background, which is fucking dope. Let's flip it here to the back. And it, again, you guys, you have the thing and you have a small read up there. So you can pause it if you wanna check that out. And you got a lot of uh, images here of the different McGreedy's that you could put with all the accessories that he comes with. Speaking of the accessories, let's check out what he comes with, you guys. Again, the ultimates come in this box with the window that comes open. And there he is there, looking fucking beautiful. And uh, so he comes with a total of three heads, two extra heads, which is pretty dope and then pretty standard when it comes to the ultimate figures and the ultimate line. And he comes with his classic hat, you guys, his shotgun the lantern, he has some goggles here, uh, extra pair of hands here. You have his glass of his uh, alcohol there. That's it for this guy, you guys. Uh, let's crack him open and let's take a closer look at the ultimate McCready. So here he is, guys, McCready, out of the box, you guys. I put the hat on him. Here he is, you guys. Let's check out some of the accessories first. So you have a couple of alternate heads here, you guys. You have like an angry face. And it looks like a worried face there. You have his shotgun, his lantern, and a pair of goggles there. Now you have the alcohol there, the, the drink of the cannibals, a glass, and some accessory hands there that he comes with. He also comes with this hat here that I put on. And uh, first off, I want to say is not big fan of this uh, head sculpt. Uh, it does not look like Kurt Russell. I don't know. That's just me. But I can't complain because we actually have a figure of McCready. So I'm happy about that. Anyway, let's go on. He comes with his uh, leather jacket, you guys. Let's bend his elbow here. And it's not a double jointed elbow. It's just a regular elbow. But when you guys, everyone knows these neckers, man. You don't want to mess with them too much. I didn't dip them in hot water. So uh, I don't want him to break. Here's the rest of his outfit, you guys. And his boots. 
And the hat's like a rubber material. So that's pretty good. Pops right, right on his head here. And I hope they make more. Maybe not the rest of the characters. Maybe Childs still want the retro style one, which would be fucking awesome. And I mean, the head sculpts are pretty good, man. I mean, they're well done. I just don't think the likeness of Kurt Russell is there. I don't know. I mean, I guess I can kind of see it, but I don't know. Something's off about it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment there. Let, let, tell me what you guys think about that. And here's his other head here. And this one, uh, I guess it kind of looks like Kurt Russell. But that's the other head there. Standing next to each other. Side by side. Pretty good, you guys. Overall, you guys, I think this is a pretty cool figure. You know, NECA Ultimates, you know, there's nothing really, honest, honestly to me, there's nothing really special about them other than they have a lot of articulation and a lot of accessories. They're usually the same, you guys. You know, the only difference is some come with double jointed elbows for whatever reason and some don't. Maybe he just, maybe McCready didn't really need a double jointed elbow. I don't know. But I think if they have double jointed, they should make all the figures double jointed. That's just my opinion. The sculpt is pretty good. The paint job is excellent, I think. I mean, that's it, you guys, for uh, this McCready. Thanks again, you guys, for checking out this review. This was last minute, and uh, I don't care. I had to make a review of this guy. If you guys are a fan of the thing, let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited that we got a McGreedy? You know, my guess is, since these are from Target, and they said that they're going to be released at Target first, my guess is when they release these on their site and other vendors get them, I think the box is going to be different, in my opinion. So that way, you know, they can make the collectors happy about that kind of shit. That's it, you guys, for this review. If you're new to this channel, welcome to my fucking madness of reviews and vlogging. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right at the fucking bottom. I, I appreciate it very much, you guys. And that's it, you guys. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. So peace the fuck out.